And so a couple of the crew members coming into view. Um, in the blue shirt, that's Alexander Mazurkin. He'll, he's the uh, he's going to be the Expedition 54 commander uh, who just took over command from Randy Bresnik, who's there on the left now in the long sleeve blue shirt. Sergey Rosansky in the back there in the gray. Paolo Nespoli now coming into view, saying farewell to Mazurkin. He's going to be moving in as well. And Sergey Rosansky in the gray there. He's going to be the Soyuz commander for the flight down. He'll be in the center seat. Saying farewell to the other two NASA astronauts on board, Joe Acaba and Mark Vandehei. They're going to remain on board with Alexander Mazurkin. And they'll be uh, just half of the Expedition 54 crew, which will grow with another three crew members uh, just over this weekend. But for now, looks like Bresnik, Nespoli, and Rosansky inside the Soyuz spacecraft getting a few last-minute shots while they're still in the microgravity environment. And pretty soon they'll be closing the hatchway and beginning the trip home. Buddy, Moscow. And with that, the hatches closed and locked. 8.02 p.m. Central Time, 9.02 p.m. Eastern Time. Buddy. While the station flies 253 statute miles over the Philippine Sea, just to the south of Japan. 10 seconds. Standing Buddy. by for undocking command. It's the time. The command Desventin is sent on time. We have the LED illuminated. The transfer hatch is closed, and we go to page 84. Copy. So we've gotten confirmation the command has been given. The hook's now driving. So the hooks on the Soyuz spacecraft holding it in place are slowly going to retract. This takes about a minute and a half, and so we should expect in about a minute or so to see the Soyuz begin to separate from the International Space Station. This is a camera view from the very tip of the Soyuz spacecraft, looking back at the Rosviet module. On the ground, copy. It's been just a little over 45 seconds since the command was given. With the hooks continuing to retract, should be under about 20 seconds we from undocking. Uh, contact if LED not illuminated. It, uh, it is not illuminated anymore. Copy. So we have a separation flag. And physical separation and undocking confirmed. 11.14 p.m. Central Time, 12.14 a.m. Eastern Time, with the station flying 255 statute miles over the southern part of Mongolia. the docking unit and interface. Could you please check uh, and monitor that there are no foreign objects on the docking interface. Yes, we are looking at it, and we cannot see anything there. Copy. 
And again, physical separation, the undocking confirmed 11.14 p.m. Central, 12.14 a.m. Eastern Time. The Springs pushing the Soyuz spacecraft with Randy Bresnik, Sergey Rosansky, and Paolo Nespoli away from where they've been living for the last 139 days aboard the International Space Station. The spacecraft slowly backing away now in just about a minute or so. Uh, or about two minutes, they'll begin a separation burn, a firing of thrusters on the Soyuz spacecraft, but for now, slowly backing away while the Earth continues to revolve in the background. Okay, so the separation is smooth. So everything progressing smoothly with the spacecraft should see that separation burn in about 45 seconds from now. And you can see the right now picking up that separation burn has begun. The Soyuz now moving a little bit quicker away from the International Space Station, firing of the thruster to carry it out and away. So we received uh, the signal, the end of the, the time. A quick eight second firing of the thrusters reported to have gone nominally. The burn already completed and everything's still going extremely smoothly with this departure so far this evening. Again, this camera view from the tip of the Soyuz spacecraft looking back at the International Space Station. 